Nicole Smith and Steve Kime from Blood and Iron Martial Arts. Today we're going to examine half sorting. In case you're wondering, half sorting involves fighting with a long sword where you place your hand on the blade. Now, half sorting is typically most effectively used when the fighters are very close together. Now for the twist. Today we're going to show you half sorting with a cane. Let's get started. The first technique we're going to examine is a basic defense in half sword grip countered by a thrust to the throat. As the cut comes in, I bring my sword up, guarding with one hand on either side of the incoming strike. After I've defended, I step to my left, guiding my opponent's sword to the right side of me and bringing the tip of my sword on line with my opponent's throat. With the cane, the motions are pretty much identical. Although the cane lacks the thrusting tip of a long sword, I can guarantee that a strike to the throat in this fashion will be just as dangerous. So please be kind to your training partners, and when doing this technique, do it slowly. The next drill we're going to demonstrate is similar to the first with one distinct difference. As the cut comes in, I defend the same as the first drill, I displace the same as the first drill, but this time, instead of a thrust to the throat, I'm bringing my sword around my opponent's neck and using it to leverage her into a takedown. And again, with the cane, the takedown is exactly the same. When doing this technique, it's important to understand that if you're going to fall or do a takedown, you need to know how to do it properly. We'll cover proper break falls in another video, but if you're not already familiar with how to do this, please avoid doing the full takedown when practicing this technique. The last demonstration we're going to show you is, what do I do if I want my opponent's sword? Easy solution. As the cut comes in, I make my defense exactly the same as the other two. However, this time, instead of winding my opponent's blade around, I take my pommel and I drive it down in between my opponent's arms. Once I've done this, I take my opposite hand and I grab a hold of my opponent's sword as well, and then I push down and pull towards me, and now I have all the swords. And, just as in our first drill, the movements here are pretty much exactly the same. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. If you enjoy the content we make and want to join one of our live online classes, please click the link below. And if you'd like to join our in-person classes, we're accepting students at our Qualicum Beach location. Information posted below. And as we always say, if you don't put in the training, you won't get the result. Perfect.